Hi there, um, I'm just wanting to do a little talk, um, and I think I want to talk about energy, um, and energy feedback um, loops that come um, with whatever feelings you're projecting outward. See, um, the universe does not care um, about what you say, you see. It doesn't care. Like, for example, um, I'm very, very sensitive, so when I get a comment like on the internet, or someone messages me, I, look, I don't actually look first. I, I don't look at the comment. I feel the energy first. I look, I'm like looking away, not looking at nothing. I'm, f I'm feeling what the energy is about because I work on my energy all the time. Um, and I suss, I suss out then what that person's about. Because um, many people, what they do is they, they, they say things, but the intentions are not with, the, what, with what they're saying, you see. It's not good intentions. And this is what the universe responds to, you see. It responds to your intentions, what you feel. That's what it means when, pe when, when people say you attract what you are. What they mean is that it means based on the feelings that you're projecting. It's what you feel and you're projecting outward. It's like what I said last week. That's how you call to someone. You don't call someone by their label. That's very low dimensional. You call to someone... Based on what you what you feel is you're calling that, right? That's what that's what you're doing. So so um, that's how you're attracting um, whatever you've got in your life, and that's why you get people that that have got um, you know quite bad luck, and they don't understand why they've got this, and it keeps on going on and on. The reason it is is because you've created a feedback loop, and this like feedback. The reason I mentioned feedback is because um, I'm a musician and. And um, it's kind of like that, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. It's like this distortion feedback, but it gets bigger and bigger. Um, that's the way energy works, it gets stronger and stronger. So this is why people are stuck in this situation where they're just getting bad luck all the time. Um, so the way you've got to change it is not by the words. That's, that's, the, the universe doesn't care about that. But the universe dishes out to you what you feel. What you feel is what you attract. Um, that's the law of attraction right there. Is what it's all to do with what you feel, and that is what determines your experience and what you're going to attract to you. For example, you know some people. Um, you know you could have a woman, and she's got a terrible abusive partner. She's attracted him not by, by the way she acts, but it's what she's feeling. He'll be vibrating on the same frequency. You see. Um, and this is this is how it works. And people don't understand it. They think that, oh, you know, she deserved better than that. You know, it's nothing to do with how she's behaving. She's probably a nice person. But it's the feelings. That's how, that's, that's how you've got to... That's how you change your reality. Is you have to change the feelings. Um, one of my favourites is self-suggestions. You know, that I am self-suggestions. Um, and basically... Um, you know these things. What the what what you need to do is you need to re um, deprogram yourself and reprogram um, your mind. Um, and this is this is what happened to me when I had this awakening. You know everything changed um, when I had this experience. Um, and basically, you're reprogramming yourself. And and you you know when I awakened, I went through it for about a week, um, just under two weeks of going crazy. And the reason I was going crazy. And people were thinking I was possessed was because I was awakened to this reality. The humans don't realise that, that they are the demonic thing. And basically it wasn't very nice to start with. Basically you awaken and everything becomes a mirror of you. It's all your fault. It becomes all your problem. And basically I, I had a breakdown. I had a mental breakdown when I had this um, awakening. And it took me a while. Basically everything shut down. Um, I was shaken um, in peak fear for about just under two weeks, two weeks. Um, and it, it wouldn't go away. Because what I was being presented with was my own dark um, reflections of myself. And it wasn't going away because it was time to wake up. People don't realise, people um, got this obsession with spiritual awakening. But it ain't so nice, you see. It ain't so nice at all. Um, and basically when I had it, I was completely freaking out. And it wouldn't, I wanted it to go away. I was screaming, you know, get rid of this. Um, but it was like, no, we're not going away because this is, you, this is your time. It's your time to awaken. It's like if it's your time to die, it's your time to awaken. And um, sometimes awakening and death is the same thing. Many people die and they start their ascension journey there. Um, 
But this is well, this is what it was like for me, and um, very scary indeed. And what happened was is um, I basically faced up to it. You know, I had to, I had to. I didn't have any choice. It wasn't going away, and that's and that's what it was. You've, ascension is facing yourself. It's not look. See, when when we're looking, when we get, when someone says something to us, um, and it upsets you, and you think they're the problem. It's actually not them that's the problem. What they've done is they've exposed your unhealed parts and it's your unhealed parts that's been exposed and that's making you react. But it's not actually that person's fault. They're actually the angel in your life that have actually brought out that unhealed part and exposed it and exposed that feelings. And once it's exposed, you can then start to heal it. So they're not your enemy. They're your, they're your angels. Um, but many will not look Many people say they want to ascend, but they will not look at everything like it's your reflection. But that's the only way you go within yourself, you see, is by looking at everything as it's you. But this takes guts, you see. See, I learned a lot about myself in this awakening. I learned that um, I've got a lot of guts. Um, because that is the biggest devil of them all, is facing yourself. It's one thing to listen to other people and, and read books and copy what they say, like many do. Um, but to face yourself, that is the real as proper ascension. That is the true proper ascension that many will not do. And this is why not many get a spiritual awakening. Many um, copy people like me. I, I see people doing that and, and they copy other people that have been awakened. But you're talking about a divine experience. And what I've found is there ain't many that have had this. I've found in my time, um, you know, in this awakening thing, I've seen a few that are genuine, not awakened people, and I've seen a, a very only a few that are actually on the same path as myself. Um, many of them are not like that at all. They're reading books and everything, chasing, but they've not had a big spiritual awakening yet, which is a, which is the, the divine source of all. It's it's what you call God, and God is this love. It's an unconditional love. It doesn't want anything back in return at all. But anyway, um, I just think I'll end it there. Um, and if you're watching, you're meant to watch it. Thank you very much. Thank you.